Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwebrin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to fix the issue of AI core features not working on a rooted Pixel phone. So at the time of recording, there are many reports wherein the AI features like Magic Editor, Magic Audio Eraser, Best Take, Recorder with Summarize, Video Boost, Smart Reply and even some old features such as Direct My Call, Hold My Call, Call Scanning. All these features are currently not working on a rooted Pixel phone. Likewise, if you try to use the magic tools in the Google Photos app, even that is not working or if a user tries to use this tool, then the app tends to crash straight away. So why is this happening? Well, apart from the fact that your phone is rooted, one of the most common culprit is using a custom fingerprint to pass a plane ticket test. So as you might be aware, if your phone is currently rooted, you might not be able to use banking and payments app. So you will now have to pass the plane ticket test. For that, you have to pass the first two tests, namely the meet device integrity as well as the basic integrity. And using that, we have to use a, a custom fingerprint that has not been passed by Google. And as of now, this custom fingerprint seems to be the major cause behind this issue. So after disabling the play integrity test module, you might be able to fix the issue, but we will not be taking that route because we want to pass the play integrity test and only then we could use the banking and payment apps. So keeping that fix aside, I will show you a workaround using which you might be able to rectify this issue. So let's get started. First and foremost, you will have to boot your phone to safe mode for that long press the power keys and you will get the power menu. So long tap on restart and tap on OK in the safe mode prompt that appears. Your phone will now reboot into the safe mode. And when that happens, all the third party apps and services will be disabled. You will not be able to access them. So our phone will now reboot into the safe mode and it will take only a few more seconds. So let's just wait for that to happen. And then we'll move ahead with the next step. So it generally takes around 10 to 15 seconds and you will get a safe mode prompt as well in the bottom left or right corner of your screen. So let's just wait for a few more seconds for that to happen and all the third party apps and services will be disabled on your phone. So as you could see, we have got the safe mode prompt as well in the bottom left corner and third party apps are not there. If there was a third party app on your home screen, it will be gray out as you could see over here and you will not be able to access it and all the other from the app drawer will be hidden. With that said, your next course of action is to delete the data of the Google Play service and uninstall update from there as well. However, do keep in mind that if you uninstall updates of Google Play service, you might have to face a couple of issues. The two most biggest issues that I faced that was that I had to set up my smartwatch once again from, from scratch. And likewise, the payment cards were removed from the Google Pay. So I had, I had to re-add all those payment cards. So if that's well and good, then only move ahead with the steps or else there is no other fix as of now. So if you are planning to move ahead with the fix, then keep these points in mind. So with that said, first of all, you will have to uninstall updates of Google Play service. So go to the settings menu, then go to apps, see all apps, select Google Play service from here. Then tap on the overflow icon and check mark and select uninstall updates, tap on OK. And with this, you will get uninstalled Google Play services. As you could see, the Play service updates have been uninstalled. Likewise, you will have to uninstall the updates for Google Play Store and AI Core as well. So next up, let's go for Google Play Store. Tap on the overflow icon and select uninstall updates. Then tap on OK. Then you will have to do so for AI Core as well. As of now, you will only be able to do so for the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro phones. If you own a phone which is older, then there might not be an option to uninstall updates for AI core. So that's not an issue. In my case, I'm using the Pixel 6a. So it has not yet, it has not yet got many of the AI features. So I might not be able to uninstall updates from the AI core app, but still let me show you how this could be done. So from the all apps section, tap on the overflow icon and select show system. And now you should see the AI core app. Just a minute, go there. And you might see an overflow icon over here. Tap on that and select uninstall updates, then tap on OK. And with this, the updates will be gone. So once that is done, once you have re removed or uninstalled the updates for Play Service, Play Store and AI Core, you will now have to remove the data of these three apps. So let's do that as well. First off, let's 
remove the data of AI core itself. So go to storage and cache, tap on clear storage and tap on delete and OK. With this, the AI core data will be removed. Then you will have to remove the data of Google Play Store and Google Play Service. So let's do that as well. This is the Google Play Store. Go there. Go to storage and cache. Tap on clear storage. Tap on delete. Likewise, do the same for Google Play Service as well. So go to Google Play Service. Go to storage and cache. Tap on clear storage. Then tap on clear all data and tap on delete. So with this, we have removed the data from the following three apps as well. Once that is done, you will now have to restart your phone back to the normal mode. So just to recap, as of now, you should have just a minute. Let me restart. So as of now, you should have uninstalled the update from Google Play Service, Google Play Store and AI Core if the feature is there on your phone. Apart from that, you will also have to delete the data of all these three apps, namely Google Play Service, Google Play Store and AI Core. Once you have checkmarked this requirement, you will now have to just do a normal restart and your phone will now reboot to the normal mode. This will take up to 8 to 10 seconds once again. And in the normal mode, all the third party apps will be up and running once again. So once that happens, you will now have to restart. Once your phone restarts, you will now have to update a couple of apps, namely Google Play Service and most importantly, Google Photos. So at the time of recording this video, which is 24th of January, after you have carried out these steps, you will get a Google Play Store update, which is around 88 MB. Simply install that update and the issue will be fixed for you. As far as the update for the Google Play service is concerned, it will be automatically updated upon a restart. So you will not have to do the update for that. You will only have to install the update for the Google Photos. And as I'm saying at the time of recording, the update size will be around 88 MB. So simply install that update and the issue will be fixed. So just install the update from the Google Play Store. Go to the Google Play Store and search for the Photos app. And you should now have a update over here just tap on update and the app will be updated and then the issue should be fixed for your case however if you are still facing this issue then what you have to do is you should try to switch between the child romance module and osmosis fork so if you are currently on child romance module to pass the plain ticket test then make a switch over to osmosis fork and vice versa so let me show you how that could be done as well. So you could go to my guide. I have a separate guide on the same. So the major difference between both, both of these is the fact, the name of the file as well as the location of the file. So once you have got the fingerprint build, which passes the plain ticket test, for example, this is how it might look like the fingerprint file. Once you have got the JSON file. So if you are using the original module by Chai Roman, then the name of the file should be pif.json. On the other hand, if you're using the fork by osmosis, then the name of the file should be custom pif.json and it should have the custom fingerprint value which passes the test. That if you, I will show you that as well. As of now, keep in mind that if you are using the osmosis, then the file name should be this. And if you're using the original module by child Roman, then use the pif.json file name. And after that, the name, the location of this file also varies. So if you are using the osmosis fork, then transfer the custom PIF JSON file to this location. On the other hand, if you are using the original child Roman module, then transfer the PIF.json to the data ADB section. Once that is done, you could then restart your phone and verify the plain ticket test should now pass on your phone. And once that happens, you will then have to restart with the all the 10 steps and this time around the issue should be fixed. So I am again repeating if the following 10 steps does not fix the issue, then you will have to make a switch from osmosis to child Roman or vice versa, depending on where you are currently. If you're currently on child Roman, then make a switch to the osmosis. And if you're currently on the fork, then make a switch to the original module using our guide. The only two difference between both of them is the name of the file, which is custom pif.json in case of osmosis and pif.json in case of original module by child Roman and the location of this file, which is the data ADB modules, plain ticket fix in case of the fork by osmosis and the data ADB location in case of child Roman. And the custom fingerprint that you are using could be the same which you are using here. The same fingerprint you could use over here as well. You don't have to change that. Just use the switch the module, but you could keep the same 
fingerprint as well but if you don't have any working fingerprint that passes the test that's also not an issue you could simply go to my guide in my guide i have given a few fingerprints that that pass this test by default so let me show you in this guide you could use these print over here i have sh shown you a list for example one is from blue G g8 then the other is from samsung device so you could use this fingerprint to pass the test and make a switch from child roman to osmosis and vice versa so carry out this tweak once you have made a switch once again carry out all these 10 steps and then the underlying issue will be fixed on your phone so guys on that note we round off this video if you still have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching